Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to create a Harry Potter card, and I'm using Kindred Stamps Wizard Friend stamp set, along with the cauldron from Ellen Hudson's Bearware 2 stamp set. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp those out with Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink on some Nina cardstock. Now once I'm done stamping those, I am going to go ahead and color them in and fussy cut them out. I use my Prismacolors and I'll have all those colors listed below, but for the sake of time, I'm going to leave the coloring out of the video. I did leave in the ink blending that I did. I wanted to create a scene where they're going to be deep in the forest brewing up some sort of potion. So I'm using five different colors today. For the sky, I'm going to use a mixture of faded jean and seedless preserves and then I'm going to pull some of that um, seedless preserves down into my ground area and I'm going to mix with that vintage photo and walnut stain to create the ground. Then I wanted to make it look like they were out way after hours in the middle of the night so I'm also going to pull in my black soot and I'll add that over top of the whole thing to give it a nice dark look. So once I'm finished with my ink blending, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with my heat gun to get it nice and dry. And then I wanted to add some trees to the background so that it would look like they were in the forest. Now I wanted to keep that somewhat subtle so that I could focus on the characters and not be overwhelmed with a bunch of stamped out trees in the background. So I'm going to add those by using an embossing folder. Since this is Bristol Smooth cardstock, it's a little bit thicker than your usual cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and spray that there with my mini mister, and here I'm wiping away the excess, but that's still a little bit wet, which is going to allow those fibers to emboss much better, and I won't have to worry about anything tearing through. Now also, I don't want those trees on the ground where my characters are going to be standing, so I'm going to just do some partial embossing. So here you'll see how I line this up. I'm going to take my top plate, and I'm going to stop that right where I want the ground to stop. 
So you'll see here, even as I'm putting this through, anywhere I don't have that top plate covering is not going to be embossed. And here I'll give you a close up look at that. So there you can see the ground portion does not have the trees in the background. So next I've gone ahead and laid out my scene. I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I'll go ahead and place all the little characters down. For the inside of my card, I'm using a Nina panel trimmed to 4 by 5 and a quarter. I'm going to stamp out the sentiment Believe in Magic, and I also added a snitch up in the top corner there. And I'll stamp that out using my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Next, I'll take my art glitter glue and place that on the inside of my card base. And this card base is made from MFT's After Midnight cardstock. I went ahead then and popped up that front panel using some scotch foam tape. I'll peel away the backing and then place that on the top of my card base. Finally, I decided we needed a little bit of magic inside that cauldron, so I'm going to use my eighth inch score tape and I'm going to layer on three pieces of that. I want to make sure I get a nice good stick in that area. And then I've got some Martha Stewart cotton candy glitter, and I'm going to take that and just dump it on top of the cauldron. That way it looks like something is bubbling and brewing in there. I dumped off the excess there and then I'm going to take my art glitter glue. I'll place down a few dots of glue and then I'm going to use um, my pin that I actually keep in the art glitter glue which has a little bit of um, stickiness on it and I'll just pick up some individual pieces of glitter and just have those sort of wafting through the air. And that will complete the card for today. Here are a few photos of the finished card. In the description box below you'll find my blog post which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.